welcome, welcome to the Gump Report. That sounds so loud. I'm sorry. Gump Report. You never know what you're going to get. I think this is episode 49, 48. Whew. Been doing this for a while. I'm not saying that many people watch it. Some people like it. It's like 15 people. Others would go up to maybe 30, 40. I'm very thankful anybody looks at it. And don't mind me acting stupid. You know, I <laughs> Anyway, this is Leah Hirsch and the Booking the Wrestler style on Gump Report. Now, if you don't know what that is, Booking the Wrestler is a series I did where I would take a wrestler and I would book them compared to what they were booked in either Impact Wrestling, AEW, not much in WWE, but basically there. And I'm booking her for AEW. Now, how would I book Leah Hirsch? Legit. Simple. Make her be what she is. She is from the Soviet Union. She came to America and she became legitimately one of the best wrestlers in the state that she was from when she moved to America. So I'm going to book her as a Russian. And the person that is going to be her manager, her brother, will be simply Miro. Now, does this sound stereotypical? Yes, it does. But it... I make it very clear to everyone that there's nothing wrong doing a stereotypical storyline and booking as long as you do it good. Because that's what people don't understand these days. Because they don't understand booking due to the fact that many promotions rush their booking. They don't do long-term booking anymore. Many bookings last maybe two months, three at the most if you're lucky. There used to be bookings that would take almost six months to a year. Look at what's going on in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Yes, they don't book them incredibly great, but they do take six months to go through a booking or a whole year to go through a booking. So here, it's going to take about six months. Now, let's say Leah Hirsch on AEW has been doing everything she can to get a title shot. She does exactly what happened in Empower going against Camille and she did not win. She showed how great she was. Then she goes back to AEW and she tries again to go after the women's titles and got her butt whooped every time by not just Britt Baker, by Britt Baker, by Big Swall, by Sheeta, by a new Jay Car. She annihilated her and she was getting more and more frustrated. And so very frustrated to the point where she began to become depressed. And this is where it gets interesting. When she's called to go to the ring, she goes out. She stands there. She goes like this and walks to the back. And she gets counted out and she loses her match by count out. Because she refused to get into, well, not count out, but um, by no contest because she refused to get into the ring. The next week, she goes into the ring. She does some work, but she gets frustrated because she's getting beat, even though she's a better wrestler. She jumps out of the ring and walks away. And then she gets counted out. That doesn't happen once. It happens three times. She's damn frustrated, and they show a shot in the back. And guess who comes to her? The Redeemer. The Miro. Miro, by this time, does have CJ. His wife, the former Lana by his side. And both of them see Leia Hirsch and they say, my sister, what are you doing? And they're both looking at her and they're speaking in Russian to her. And well, basically they'll, he'll be speaking Bulgarian, but basic Russian is known in Bulgaria. So he is speaking basic Russian. So is CJ. And they're talking to her. And there's subtitles to make it interesting. They do subtitles to let them know, well, let us know what they're being stated. And they're saying to her, what is wrong? You're one of the best female wrestlers I've ever seen. What are you doing? And even Lana, well, CJ, says, sister, stop this. I'm, I was wrestling for a while. And I know that I can help my husband better as his manager than a wrestler. But I still love women's wrestling. You are the best wrestler I have ever seen. And you're giving up. Why? You are strong, Soviet woman. 
show your strength. And every time she loses, and this is over a two month period already, they come to her. After the first month, that's when they come to her. And they're trying to encourage her, stop doing this. And basically Miro is going to her, putting his hand on her shoulder and saying, stop. He's not being rough with her. He's literally sitting next to her and talking to her. Yes, it sounds a little long-winded, but you know what? That's the way it's got to be. He puts his TNT championship in her lap and he says, every time, look at this. Look at this title. Hold it. She holds it in her arms, in her hands, and she looks at it. And he says, look at that title. I earned this title because I am the best. I may be the Redeemer sent by God, having the most sexiest wife on the planet. But it doesn't mean I don't have natural talent. You and me are the same. We are naturally gifted people. I am from Bulgaria. You are from Russia. We are the same damn people. Romania, Bulgaria, Transylvania, we're all the same people. You cannot tell me that the czars did not rule us. The czars did not tell us who we are. Sorry for yelling. You, me, we are family. You are my baby sister. And I refuse to let my baby sister show weakness because she's not weak. Look at this title. And he's letting her hold the TNT title and saying clearly, you deserve a title because you are the best. You can prove it. So guess what? From that last time, which was now the third month in, he told her, me, CJ, will be coming to the ring with you. From now on, we will be by your side. We will not leave you, no matter if you win or lose. You are not a loser. You are not a quitter. You will go in there and give your best. And if you lose, you lose. But you're not a quitter. You are Russian. I am Bulgarian. We give everything. And every time for a month, she goes in the ring. He's by her side. CJ's by her side. They are screaming at her, show how great you are. Show the Russian will. And the first match she lost. But they didn't lay her out. They didn't scream at her. They both hugged her and say, you gave it everything in almost one show again. Again and again how good you are. The next match, she almost won. The next match, she did win. And then she won again. And she became more and more aggressive, yelling and screaming in Russian how great she is. And then when she does her own promo segments, she makes it clear. I am Russian. I have the Russian will. And no one is better than me. And they're both standing behind her. Towering over her, but because of how they set up the camera, kind of like this. Angling it up above her. Like it's angled like this and it's looking up at her. Yes, you can see that Rusev Miro and CJ are above her like this. But they're angling the camera up near her to make her look bigger than she is. And yes, they have two huge people behind her. But the angle of the camera... Instead of it making just barely at her head, the cameraman angles it up to look at her from the perspective of her chin going straight up to show how big she is, even though she's a small woman. To show, I gotta make this, the camera's still kind of loose, to make sure that people can see how big she is, even if she's in a small package. And for five months, she's dominant until in this situation, all out, which is coming at this weekend, where she's going up against a Britt Baker, where pretty much when it's finally time for her to meet Britt Baker again, because she went through Britt Baker before almost six, almost six months ago, five and a half months ago, and she lost. In this situation, she's changed. She's highly aggressive, and she tells Miro and CJ, I will do this. I don't need you. I will make you proud. Stay here at the ramp. She's telling them, she's screaming at them, stay here at the ramp, get some seats because I'm going to entertain you because I will show my will. 
And that's what they did. They took seats and they're sitting literally on the ramp watching her fight. And she destroys completely a Brick Baker. She doesn't give her a very good competition. She didn't cheat. She legitimately be destroyed and beheaded her. And when it was all said and done, she's fully legit. She destroyed her. And the next night, well, not on that same night, but the next night on Dynamite, she has that same promo segment again. Camera, instead of being at her chest, will be angled up, like I said, kind of like this, looking up at her. Sorry, looking at my bad ceiling. <laughs> but you get my point. Making sure to make her look as big and as menacing as possible and saying clearly, I tower over you all. I am the AEW Women's Champion. Beat me. Putting her face literally in the camera like this. Beat me. Literally. Doing that to terrify her opponents. And for a month, nobody wanted to go near her. Not because she was the best, but because she scared them. She literally scared a lot of women. Because she wasn't trying just to out-wrestle them. She was trying to destroy them. Literally doing what... Um, Penta Sierra Mero would usually do like doing the arm breaker. She adopted the very move that he did that he doesn't do that much anymore. And she took his move and started snapping the arms. Just like how Pentagon Jr. does it. And she was breaking people's arms. She got basically fined $10,000, $20,000, $30,000. And she didn't care because she was winning. And Miro saying, keep charging her. Because she's going to keep showing how great she is. There's no one that can beat her. And this is how we'll book her. To be the most dominant woman that exists in AEW. The smallest woman that is the most dominant. Because they booked her to be vicious, destructive, and made her look ten times bigger than life. That is how I think this should be for Leia Hirsch. The legit Leia Hirsch. That's, that's it. I don't know if you're going to like this. I hope you do. Please give me a comment. Tell me if you like this booking. Well, this booking the wrestler. And um, the Grunt Report style. I'm stylish. <laughs> give me a like. Give me a subscribe and share the videos. I count if you guys want to share. Peace.